Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. For today, we will continue our lesson on mathematics year 4. Our topic today is Manage money wisely. Maksudnya, mengurus wang secara bijak. You can refer into your textbook on page 118, 119, 120 and page 121. So, without any delay, let's proceed to example number one. Look at the conversation in the picture. Such a beautiful chess set. I wish to buy it one day. Zali, you need to be thrifty. Save more and spend less. So, in this picture, Zali wants to buy a chess set which price is 135 ringgit but her mother said Zali need to be thrifty do you know what is thrifty? thrifty in BM is berjimat cermat jadi Zali mestilah berjimat cermat untuk membeli set jatuh ini so he can save more money Okay, Zali should save more money Maksudnya Zali hendaklah menyimpan lebih wang And spend less Iaitu kurangkan perbelanjaan So, in number 1B It is a daily budget Daily budget ni ialah budget harian Okay, budget harian Week 1 of July Iaitu minggu pertama pada bulan Julai So, in week 1 You can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday So, this is the daily spending of Zali In the table, you can see Money received Iaitu duit yang diterima Saving Iaitu simpanan Expense iaitu perbelanjaan Jadi di dalam jadual ini ada ditunjukkan Wang yang diterima, wang simpanan dan juga wang yang dibelanjakan pada setiap hari Okay, now let's look on Monday Pocket money Zali get 4 ringgit And mother gave another 2 ringgit so, money received for Monday is total 6 ringgit. And then, expense. What Zali expend on Monday? On Monday, Zali buy nasi lemak. Price is 1 ringgit and 20 sen. And he buys exercise book, which is price 1 ringgit. So, the total expense is 2 ringgit and 20 sen and then saving how to get saving we can get saving by subtract between money received and expand after you subtract you will get 3 ringgit and 80 sen for savings on Monday for Tuesday pocket money received is 4 ringgit and then Zali buy roti canai 1 ringgit and 20 sen and the saving for Tuesday is 2 ringgit and 80 sen on Wednesday pocket money received 4 ringgit and he buys sandwich price is 1 ringgit and 50 sen and saving for Wednesday is 2 ringgit and 50 sen on Thursday Pocket money is 4 ringgit and he get money from brother another 4 ringgit and then he buys noodle soup 3 ringgit and stationery 1 ringgit and 50 sen after subtract money received and expense Zali can save 3 ringgit and 50 sen on Thursday on Friday Pocket money received is 4 ringgit and Zali buys curry puff 80 sen and donation 
which is 1 ringgit and 70 cent and the saving for Friday is 1 ringgit and 50 cent so money received from Monday to Friday is 26 ringgit Zali expense is 11 ringgit and 90 cent and saving for week 1 is 14 ringgit and 10 cent That is for first week of July and then for the second week he did the same things so money received for second week is 20 ringgit the expense is 10 ringgit and he can save 10 ringgit because 20 ringgit subtract 10 ringgit equal 10 ringgit and then for the third week Money received is 25 ringgit. Expense 10 ringgit and 50 cent. After you subtract, you will get 14 ringgit and 50 cent. And for the fourth week of July, money received is 22 ringgit. Expense is 10 ringgit. And after you subtract, you will get 12 ringgit. Okay, now let's look. The total for July. Money received in July is 93 ringgit. Expense in July is 42 ringgit and 40 cent. And savings for July is 50 ringgit and 60 cent. That is for monthly budget for July. And then we can go to another month which is August, September, and October. On August, Zali can save 40 ringgit and 50 cent. September, 41 ringgit, 85 cent. And October, he can save 47 ringgit. So the total saving for the four months here is 179 ringgit and 95 cent. Is it enough? To buy a chess set yes it is enough I have collected enough money to buy a chess set said Zali Zali kata dia dah cukup duit untuk membeli satu set chess good job Zali said his mother so right now Zali can buy this chess set which is priced 135 ringgit Congratulations, Zali. Let's look at number two, which is I want to tell you the importance of keeping records of saving and expand. Yaitu kepentingan. Apakah kepentingan kamu untuk menyimpan rekod simpanan dan perbelanjaan kamu? So, number one. The importance of keeping records of saving and expenses, we can avoid debt. Yaitu, kita boleh mengelakkan hutang. Number two, we can control excessive spending. Yaitu, kita boleh mengawal perbelanjaan yang terlampau seperti dalam gambar ini. Number three, we can prioritize needs. Yaitu, kita boleh memberi keutamaan untuk membeli barang-barang yang perlu dan abaikan barang yang tidak perlu. And number four, we can save money for the future. Kita boleh menyimpan banyak wang untuk masa hadapan. That's are the importance of keeping records of savings and expenses. I hope this explanation will help you to understand about this topic. Good luck and see you in another lesson. Bye-bye.